it's unbelievable where we, where we are right now with JTE. I mean, he could have been one of the best. He was no longer every man's hero. He became a heel of sorts. And then he was nothing. He was solid. His knowledge was impressive. I don't like spitting in the wind. I don't like burning the American flag. And I don't like beating JTE. He became little evil. And boy, was he evil. And yes, he was little. JT was at the top of his game. He just said things that made no sense. He could have been the best, and something happened. You know, Yvonne Drago said, I must break you. And JT always thought he was rocking that scenario, but it turns out he might have been Apollo 3. Well, you know, as one of the two gods on the top of Mount Olympus that created this whole event at a pizza place in Anaheim, I got to tell you, it's great to be going up against a talent like Sam Levine because it helps me prove just how good I am on my own at movie trivia. I feel pretty good about this today. Um, I I took a I took a tough loss, uh, but an expected loss to Clark Wolf in my last uh, Schmodown, and it really changed my whole outset, my, my, my mindset on this whole thing. The outlook is much better now. I don't care if I win or lose. I just care that I play a good, clean, honest game, and I'd like to believe that Mark Ellis will give me at least that. Look, Christian and I have nothing to prove collectively. I really have nothing I want to prove individually. Now it's all about mowing people down and kicking ass. Sure, I love having the team belt, but wouldn't it look great at Ellis Manor West to have the team belt next to the championship belt? This is the way to do it, and the path goes through that little guy from Freaks and Geeks. I am five one and a half. Okay. Uh, Mark Ellis has been my good luck charm. I, I went 2-0 and when Mark Ellis was in the room, and then I, I lost uh, in defeat to, to Clark when he was not there. Italy. And your winner! Oh! Here's my question. In what wow. country does the movie Bonjour take place in? <laughs> so I, I don't know 100% that it's Mark. It might be his father's uh, sport jackets that he keeps wearing that is actually the good luck charm, but we're going to find out today. Look, when Sam Levine came on the map, he was like a travel size Yvonne Drago. Nobody thought we could break him. But then Clark Wolf cut the Russian, and now it's like he's a fun dude named Sam. He's one of my good buddies. We love talking baseball together. And when it comes to movie trivia, nobody knows more than him, except, of course, me. The Rocky Horror Picture Show. He pretends to be Sloan's father. Uh, a boat. Uh, I'm going to say Tom Wilkinson. That is correct. It's one of my favorite villains in movie history, and I'm going to say Chet. Ladies and gentlemen, yep. 17 Woo. to 12. Mark, it's been fun uh, watching you from across the room, but it's going to be even more fun going head-to-head -head with you in your dad's jacket. Sam, you're a good buddy. There's no need for trash talk. You've worked well with Judd Apatow, Quentin Tarantino. They push you to the edge. I'm just going to push you a little bit further. Sam Levine is a guy who likes to come in cool as ice. So how do I counter that? I come in even cooler, and I turn the heat on him. Welcome back to the ultimate Schmodown tournament. Christian Harloff here. John Campia here. And this is going to be one to remember. What a big match we have here in a quarterfinal match. You have the number three contender, the inglorious one, Sam Levine, going up against the number six contender, Mark Baby Carrots Ellis, who is my teammate, co-holder of the championship. These two guys, they know their stuff. No, they really do. And, you know, Sam Levine is a guy that we've been talking about a lot on this show. I mean, I believe him and Clark Wolf, you know, they are probably two of the strongest com contenders here. I look forward to seeing those two probably match up again in the future. Wait a minute. Are you? What's your prediction? You usually predict a lot of things when you're, when you're here. You're, you, who do you got between Sam Levine and Mark Ellis right it's now close. on the spot? Look, Mark Ellis, he's deceptively smart. You know, sometimes <laughs> the guys who are funny, they use their jokes to cover up the fact, the fact that they don't know very much at all. Right. Mark Ellis is also one of those guys, but he can pull it out of the hat at the right. last minute. You know, I've never seen to be impressed with him when I'm watching it up there on that stage. He shines when the pressure's on the most. I expect to see him have a really good match today. 
but I gotta go with Sam. Wow. I mean, he's just too strong. So I'd be. Uh, it'll be an interesting upset if Mark can win this thing. Yeah, and Sam's got a little bit of something to prove too. I think that 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 match with Clark after he, I talked to him afterwards, and he he said to me, he's like, oh, you know what? I'm taking it too serious. I'm just gonna kick back and relax on my next match. And here we go because the winner of this plays the winner of Clark Wolf and Josh Makuga. So that'll be an interesting match. Now, you guys have had a lot to say about it. Let's check, check out some of those memes that you've been submitting. Here we go. A lot of fun there, obviously, between the Sam Levine and the Mark Fans Ellis looking memes. forward to this one a yeah. lot. All right, let's get to the tail of the tape. There you go. You got Mark Ellis, who clearly knows a lot about Van Halen. Not a lot of questions will be on about those guys, but you have 80s movies, Star Wars, and, well, something else. And then you have <laughs> Sam Levine, whose strengths are Tarantino movies, Apatow movies, and being pissed off about questions about Italian movies that are obvious. All right, let's go. Are you ready? We are ready. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Movie Trivia Ultimate Schmodown Tournament. Introducing first, he is representing Collider. And Schmoes, no. He is the 2014 <laughs> Ultimate Schmodown semifinalist, the 2015 Ultimate Schmodown finalist, the reigning team champion, Mark Baby Carrot Dallas. Two and one. Two Mark wins. Dallas, one loss. Com coming in with a high energy octane ready to go. Johnny might have warmed himself out. Yeah, he's got to see if fatigue becomes an issue. It looks exhausted. And his opponent representing himself with a record of two wins, one loss. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the But he comes in with this quiet confidence. You yeah. can just see it on him. Well, I told you, it's more about being calm this way through. He doesn't look too amped up. I think the Clark match really changed his perspective on this thing. I wonder if he's already looking past Mark Ellis, so maybe he's looking forward to that Clark Wolf rematch. We'll have to see. Oh, he took his championship belt off of his pants. All right. <laughs> here. As long as we're putting belts we on the table. Go. Guys, so here are the rules for round one. The competitors will get six questions, predetermined categories. You cannot steal from your opponent. Each question worth one point. Mr. Levine. Yes, sir. You are the favorite and the high seed going into the tournament. Would you like to go first or second? Uh, I will go second. We'll go second. Mark Ellis, category one, category two. Uh, one. All right. John, you want to ask Ellis? All right. What's up? I'm number one. You are number one, and I'm number two, because as everyone here knows, I'm a big fan of shit. <laughs> Ellis really sticking in the character. Mark Ellis, your first question falls under the category of 80s. Oh! That's who I am! <laughs> yeah. Who plays the villainous Mr. Joshua in Lethal Weapon? Hmm. Uh, there's a number of bad guys in the Lethal Weapon franchise. Five. <sighs> Four, three. Gary Busey. Correct! Oh! I don't know if it's his love of Lethal Weapon or that neon color, but he pulled <laughs> that one out. All right, your second question. Under the category of dramas, what newspaper did the reporters in Spotlight work for? The Boston Globe. Correct! Comes yeah. out two for two. Oh, yeah. Sam Levine twitching at Boston. And your third question. Under the category of animated, what is the name of the walking, talking clock in Disney's Beauty and the Beast? Oh, that goddamn clock. 
five, four, <laughs> three. I'm gonna say uh, two. Jasper. <laughs> <laughs> Surprisingly, Jasper no. Incorrect. We were looking for Cogsworth. Ah, oh, right. I knew a clock up in Watertown named Jasper. All right, Sam Levine, in the category of '80s movies. All right. In Back to the Future. I'm familiar with it. Marty bumps into the future mayor of Hill Valley when he, when he journeys back to 1955. What is the prospective mayor's name? Um, the mayor of Hill Valley is... Uh, Five. Uh, four, the, the third. Um, three. Uh, two. His name is... Uh, one. Time's up. Oh, his God. His answer it, is Goldie Wilson. Goldie Wilson the third. All right, so in the category of... <laughs> I don't feel good of, about that, guys. I feel like the clock cut me off a little, a little quick there. Category of dramas. I don't feel good about that. Who played Ben Affleck's lawyer in Gone Girl? Ah, that would be the magnificent and, uh, and often gender-bending... Five, um, four, uh, oh, man. three. Th this clock, that clock is much it's too fast. Two seconds. Everyone's getting ten One. seconds. Uh, uh, what the, what, what's Medea's... Time. It's Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry. You guys, this clock is... Way too fast. <laughs> it's, like, it's a standard way too fast. clock. It's ten seconds. Is it really? Ten seconds. Yes. Oh, I had no idea we we're Every, actually Mark using had a real ten clock. Seconds Sam also, Levine yeah. wishes to register an all official right. All right, all right, protest yeah, with it's Switzerland. Fine, it's fine. As long as I know the clock Bro, is the same for every question. It's question about a clock. It's, it's the fine. same for everyone. Yeah, Sam. <laughs> Sam, we we changed. We, cha we made sure. <laughs> all right. All right. Here oh, we go. Boy, these are these are not too easy ones to strike out on. All right. Now in the category of animated. Perfect. Name the movie. Yeah. Stuart, Kevin, and Bob are recruited by Scarlet Overkill, a supervillain who, alongside her inventor husband Herb, catches a plot to take over the world. Uh, um, the Incredibles? We're looking for minions. Oh, of course. <laughs> I took my kids to see that one. I have no children. <laughs> All right, going into it. I'm right. the stepfather of a dog myself. That's fantastic. Mark Ellis, your next set of three questions in round one. The first coming under the category of rom-coms. Who plays the title role in the 2001 romantic comedy, The Wedding Planner? <sighs> Who plays the title role? Yes. That would Five, be the glowing four. Jennifer Lopez. Correct. Wow, big, big star for Ellis. Under the category of fantasy sci-fi, who plays the alien woman Ella, who helps the humans against the alien invaders in Cowboys and Aliens? Oh, dear. <laughs> Five, four, three... Two, one, time. Oh, Olivia Munn. Ooh, we were looking so close. for Olivia Wilde. Oh. So close. Oh, 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 oh. So Man, close. that's the Olivia I was looking for as well. And your final question, under the category of shoulder sweaters and pink. No, sorry, under the category of movie quotes. Name the movie that had the quote, did you know that bees and dogs can smell fear? That sounds like something that annoying kid Five, from Jerry Maguire four, would say. I'm going to say Jerry Maguire. Correct. Jerry Maguire. You had to bring back Jerry Maguire to taunt me, you motherfuckers. <laughs> Shame on you. Shame on you both. Sam, did you know the human head weighs eight Shit. pounds? The fucking zoo's closed, Ray. <laughs> All right. Here we go. In the category Jesus. of rom-com, Sam Levine. Very well. Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Yep. Jason Siegel dreams of making a puppet rock opera based on what classic novel? A puppet rock opera. All I remember from the movie is Siegel's dick. Five, <laughs> four, um, three. Deflate a mouse. Close. We were looking for Dracula. Okay. All right. Um, in the category of fantasy sci-fi. Yeah, things are going great here, by the way. That's <laughs> <laughs> our. What was Neo's last name before he was awoken in the Matrix? Uh, Mr. Anderson. Correct. Correct. There you go. Sam's on the board. Sam Finally. Anderson has cracked the shell. He's on the board now. In the category of movie quotes. Yeah. What movie is this quote from? We got coffee and cocaine here. We're going to get wired and have a big party. Cocaine. Sounds like a day on my yacht. Mm -hmm. Five. 
Uh, Beverly Hills Cop? Correct. Correct. Wow. That wow. Was big. That was that not was an easy one. Big one. All right. Sam Levine coming back there. Four to two. All right. So round two. Here is how it works. Josh McCuga will bring out the wheel. So there will be 14 categories. The competitors will spin the wheel. And each question out of the four questions are worth two points. You can opt for multiple choice. We'll diminish it to one point point you can steal from your opponent in this match mark ellis you are leading four to two would you like to go first or second i'd like to go first christian there george you go do it powerful <laughs> spin sports movies i'm gonna say let's do sports movies christian. all right lands on sports movies after that spin i pick sports movies yeah <laughs> all right mark ellis under the category sports your first question which baseball film ends with a spectacular home run that shatters the lights? Oh, that would be that loveless relationship between <laughs> Robert Redford and Glenn Close in The Natural. Correct for two points. No Wait, sparks. It's it's not loveless. No chemistry no, in there Kim whatsoever. No, Kim Basinger is the loveless nah, one. Both yeah, dead lays in that movie. He has a movie. silly point of view on this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, your next question under the category of sports. Which comedy stars Rip Torn? as a coach who throws wrenches at his players. That would be uh, Dodgeball. Correct. The underdog story. For two points. Sports working well for Ellis. I like sports. Your third question under sports. Seabiscuit's match of the century pits which horse against Seabiscuit? Ah, oh, jeez. Oh. Five. Four. Let's go multiple choice. Multiple choice it is. Is it A, War Admiral, B, Secretariat, C, Whirl Away, or D, Citation? I've heard of all of those horses except for Whirl Away, so I'll say Whirl Away. Incorrect. <laughs> Sam Levine, you have the opportunity to steal. Is it War Admiral? The steal for all one right. point. Good steal on Big Sam steal. Levine. Who won that race? That's a spoiler. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And your final question under the category of sports. What profession is Dennis Quaid's character in before he tries out for Major League Baseball? Oh, boy. I, uh, I got a Jones in the guess, but I think I'll go multiple choice. All right. Is it A, auto mechanic, B, carpenter, C, janitor, D, high school teacher? D, high school teacher. Correct. All right. Big round right, there. Yeah. Mark Ellis right. still only missing that one. Take it. Nine to three. Sam, you're up. Oh, boy. Sam needs a big round here. All right. Be good to me, Wheel. Big round. A much more masculine spin than Mark much Ellis's. Better. It was good. Yeah, much better. Good. Landing on yeah. comic book movies. Okay. Once again, the wheel is not for friends. <laughs> All right. And now, remember, whatever comes up on now, he with. has to go with. It lands on. 90s movies? No, action adventure, it looks like. Action adventure. Okay. Action adventure. Action adventure. Yeah. All right, I'm action fine with adventure. That. All right. Your first question under action adventure. Yes. In Die Hard, uh -huh. what was the name of John McClane's limo driver? Argyle. Correct for two points. That's big. No hesitation. Played by Devereaux White. Wow. <laughs> two points more. No. That's right. Your second question Who plays the villainous Raul Silva? In the James Bond film Skyfall. Uh, in Skyfall, that's um, five, four, uh, three. Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Incorrect. <sighs> Opportunity for a steal to Mark Ellis. Uh, can you repeat the question? Who plays the villainous Raúl Silva in the James Bond film Skyfall? Is it Javier Bardem? It is Javier that's Bardem. What I, was thinking. I get them confused points. all the time. All the time. All the time. All the time. Well, that's it for me. <laughs> <laughs> Can't go back from that. Not yet. Two points steal, it's all over. <laughs> all right. No, that's fine. Your third question. <laughs> what animal does Van Damme punch in the face in hard target? <laughs> what animal does Van Damme punch in the face in hard target? A dog. <laughs> Incorrect opportunity okay. for a steal for Mark Ellis. A snake. It's a rattlesnake. It's not, it's, it's not, no, he didn't do it yet. Oh, yeah. it, we will take, yes, we will take snake. It was rattlesnake. Yes, we will accept that for Four a two points. point steal. Now, 
See, now people are going to ask me afterwards, Sam, why didn't you go multiple choice? And the answer is I couldn't afford to take just one point. Ah. That's why. He's thinking strategically already. People Kinda. are going to ask me afterwards, well, how could you blow an eight-point lead to Sam Levine? Well, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Your final question in this category. Yep. What was Bruce Lee's final film? Oof. Uh, Bruce Lee's final film? <sighs> Five. Enter the Four. Dragon. Correct. Wow, for two big. points. That was big. All right, 13 7. So Needed two points. It's a big deficit, but Sam can still come back here. 13 to 7 going into round three. Round three works this way. Our competitors will choose three numbers each. Each one, the first one will be worth one point, second one is three points, and the third one will be worth five points. All right, Mark, please pick three numbers he between one and what happened? I just noticed he brought a belt out, too. We said it. <laughs> we said it right at the beginning. We said that in the beginning. I was locked into how happy I was All to right. be here. All right, Mark, you're up first. Please pick three numbers between 1 and 25. Uh, 1 to 25. It's a lot of numbers. I'm going to go with uh, 22. I'm going to go with uh, 17. And I'll go with uh, 7, Joe Theismann's number. All right, Sam? Uh, let's go with uh, 3, 21, and 12. All right, Sam Levine, you're up first. Yep. With your one-pointer. All right. Under the category... Oh, uh, uh, Cinema Paradiso. <laughs> uh, <Italy. laughs> yes! You chose the number three, which is the category yeah. of comic book movie. Fantastic oh. news for me. <laughs> Your question. Yeah. Who played the villain Sebastian Shaw in X-Men First Class? Uh, Five. Kevin Bacon. Correct. Nice. For one Big point. Three point. point. Your second number was the number 21. Yeah. That gives you the category of classics. Okay. Okay. Question. In the 1933 comedy Duck Soup, Groucho Marx plays the leader of what fictitious nation? Fredonia. Whoa. Correct. Got it. That's big. Sam Levine. It's he a was a mile behind, but now with one more question correct, he will go into the lead. His character's name was Rufus T. Firefly. So what's the score? 11-13. Wow. Yep. Your third number you picked was the number 12, which gives you the category of crime movies. Okay. Answer successfully. You go into the lead, miss this question, and Mark Ellis is the victor. Okay. Your question. What 2004 crime thriller stars Kim Basinger, Chris Evans, and Jason Statham? I believe it's Jason Statham. And, uh... I think Jessica Biel and Five, Eric Christian Olsen might four, also be in this movie called Cellular. Whoa. Correct! And he oh, takes Sam the lead! taking the lead. All right. Big third round for Sam. And now Mark Ellis needs to score some points here to win. I just did a mountain of blow, Christian. Let's do this. All right, Mark. <laughs> so 16, 13, 4, your first category. For your one-pointer, you chose Star Wars. Heard of it. What was Leia's response when Han asked, who are you in Jabba's palace after she freed him from carbonite? Someone who loves you. Correct. Correct. One point. <laughs> Do I get an extra now... point for uh, really selling it? He right. Mark now has two opportunities to win. To walk off home, run this thing, and win. I look at that as two opportunities to lose, John. <laughs> Mark, <laughs> for your category, your three-pointer for the category of animated, and the chance to win. What is the name of the young Brontosaurus in the land before time? Oh, dear God. Is that your final answer? Five, the land before time. Four, three, two, one. Pip. We're sorry. We were looking for <laughs> Littlefoot. Wow. And it I comes down, down to, to the, the final, final question. question. It's do or die. Does it get any better oh than this? Oh, my God. All right. Oh, it this couldn't... makes me feel great, actually, because even if I'd missed, if, even if I'd gotten all the I, questions in the first round, he could still take them. I, <laughs> I can't believe that he actually chose this for his five-pointer. Unbelievable. In the category of John claude Van Damme movies. <laughs> I'm just going to put my belt back on. Mark, who was Van Damme's co-star in the 1998 film Knock Off? That would be Deuce Bigelow himself, Rob Schneider. And 
and your winner, advancing to the semifinals, ladies and gentlemen, baby carrots, Mark Ellis. Wow, and Molly makes an appearance here. Mark Ellis beating Sam Levine with a Sean Claude Van Damme. I mean, it was like it was from the start. <laughs> Unbelievable match there. Uh, Wow, Lamar played strong. He no, he played really well. You know, he came out strong right in that first round. Sam stumbled out of the gate, and we see the final score only a three-point margin between the two. Those opening rounds, a lot of times people don't think the single-point questions aren't worth a lot. They were the difference in this match. Big time, and I actually disagree with Sam. I think that he should have went to multiple choice in that second round, picked up that extra one point if he could have. Yeah, and then. And maybe, and then that was a three-point swing right there. It was. But yeah. let's go talk. We have Josh McCuga who's talking to Sam Levine and Mark Ellis. All right, we're here with the tournament edition of the Ultimate Movie Trivia Showdown. Uh, I'm here with Sam Levine. Today's unfortunate losing All member. Right. Uh, you know, Sam, it was a hell of a match. You really, it really was. You know, there was there was a lot of questions out there. I think some of the audience was trying to yell at you, like, yeah. "You've got this." I think the biggest. One that I was trying to yell at you was Goldie Wilson. Did you see it? Did I see the movie? I'm familiar with the no, movie. Did you see the name in your head? I did. If, if what, what got to me there was definitely the lights, and I, I came in today too relaxed. I, didn't, I don't know that I brought my game face. I got my game face on towards the end of the game, but I came in too relaxed. And then also, and I'm not holding this against the guys, but that countdown clock starting with five, with you only get ten seconds, they should give me a three count. I, I, I didn't realize it was only 10 seconds, quite frankly, until this match. I will, I will uh, commission, I, I will go straight to the commissioner's board and start at three for an, every match that you're a part of. Every match before you and up until now has started with the five count. But hey, you know, we do what we can for Sam Levine. Just, it gives me a few more seconds of quiet so I can ga gather my thoughts. But uh, obviously I know Mayor Goldie Wilson III and... Uh, and I just, I just, you know, I froze up on it. And Tyler Perry, another one. Really, the only those don't bother me. Those were easy questions. I know I know them. I should have gotten them. I didn't. They were one-pointers. The only one that's going to bother me after this is the question that actually would have changed the end result of the game is if I'd have had my Javier Bardem's and Jeffrey Dean Morgan straight because that was a four-point swing. And four points in my direction would actually have had me in the lead. Now, you could have gone multiple choice, and I think we were all screaming, but I know what your strategy was there. Had you gone multiple choice, you probably would have gotten it correct, and it wouldn't have been as tough as the swing. Right. Well, no, the Javier Bardem one, I wasn't going to go multiple choice because that was just simply my brain remembering the wrong actor, and they do bear a striking, handsome resemblance, don't they? Some people have said I look like Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Who said that? One person on Twitter, one time. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> anyway, um, no, the one that I don't regret was on the hard target question about Van Damme. The only regret I have there is that I forgot that Van Damme is Ellis's bread and butter. Yes. And uh, I would have gone multiple choice on that just so that when I didn't know, because I haven't seen the movie, he would have only gotten one point instead of being able to steal two. Uh, but I needed the two points in my mind at that point. And again, forgetting that Van Damme was Ellis's bread and butter, if I don't get it, it puts all the pressure on him to either know it or not know it. I will say, I'm gonna end this interview quick because you need to go watch Hard Target. <laughs> Very well. Sam Levine, can't wait to see you more. Thank you so much. All right, buddy. All right, Movie Trivia Schmodown fans here with the Ultimate Tournament Edition. Today's winner, Ted McGinley, I mean Mark Ellis, uh, the luckiest man in the world getting so many Jean-Claude Van Damme questions. It would make any action movie hero jealous. Mark, congratulations on your win. You know, Josh, I think I did my inner child proud today, getting to answer a Star Wars question, a couple Van Damme dingers, and uh, it, the match was really a close competitive one as it turned out. Got up to an early lead. Sam caught me as I knew he would. Came down to the end, and I think that's the way it should be here in the tournament. Uh, last question. Were you sweating at all about when when that last question was coming towards you? What were you worried about maybe getting? You know, you're worried about a Bespin situation when it's the five-point category, and they know that you love these kind of movies. But Van Damme, I do have some holes in my Jean-Claude knowledge. There's some movies that I've seen and can't remember character names. Luckily, as soon as Knock Off came out, I thought the only logical question to ask is who hangs out with Van Damme in that terrible, terrible movie. And that's Rob Schneider. Makes total sense, Mark. Up next is the winner of my match with Classy Clark Wolf. Uh, who would you like to see more? You know, I love you so much. Of course I want to see your smiling face sitting there next to me. Just because I love hanging out with you. And I think I could probably be using Clark Wolf, because Clark Wolf is an all-timer already in this young game. But uh, either way, I'm just going to 
you know, I'm going to go back, I'm going to regroup, I'm going to spend some time in my hyperbaric chamber, do some cryotherapy, uh, get out there with the weights a little bit, and uh, maybe I'll just drink a lot and fall asleep. Either way, I'll be ready next match. Whatever happens, at least we'll always have Taco Bell. Mark, uh, I believe this camera can't take any more pastel. But I believe we have an adventure on our hands later. Oh, well, Josh, you should join me on the yacht sometime. You have a yacht? Yeah, I do. What's it called? The Poop Deck. Congratulations on a stellar joke at the end there, Mark. Here on the Ultimate Movie Trivia Schmodown Tournament Edition. We'll see you guys next time. All right, so there you go. Mark Ellis now advancing to the semifinals. He will play either Josh McCougar or Clark Wolf. Either one of those will be a great match. No, it'll be a huge matchup. And, you know, look, we said at the beginning, take Mark Ellis seriously in these things. The pressure was on. He came through the best he's ever played in this match, I, I believe, ever in yeah. this competition. And it showed, and he came away with a really good win. I already got a text in the middle of this. I know who is challenging Sam Levine next. Uh, it's a guy named Finstock. Oh, <laughs> Finstock has already challenged Sam Levine. I wonder if that match will happen. We'll and the find series out. of poor life decisions by Finstock continues. <laughs> All right, so there you go, guys. Join us once again. Make sure that you join us every Tuesday for the Team League in the Schmodown and now every every Friday for the tournament. Check that out. And, man, the winner of this entire tournament going on to place the champion, uh, Dan Merle, in December. It's going to be a big one. All right, guys, so for John Campia, I'm Christian Harloff. Thanks for joining us on the Movie Trivia Schmodown, the ultimate Schmodown edition. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time. Hey guys, if you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It'll help you stay up to date with everything we've got going on here at Collider.